Hi, my name is Kathleen and I am from Road to Freedom Life Coaching and today I wanted to talk a little bit about chakras, what they are and what their function is with the body. And um, for those of you who, who don't know what a chakra is, I'll try to hold up this little, little drawing here which is from Hands of Light, a wonderful book. Um, you can see these little tornado-like vortexes here on the body. We have one, two, three, four, five that have a corresponding chakra on the back. We have a root chakra, which comes up from the earth and goes straight up into the body. And we have a crown chakra, which comes straight down into the head. And so those are the placements of your chakras. Now these are just the major chakras. We actually have hundreds of chakras on the body, but these are the major ones we'll be talking about today. Now why should you be concerned with with your chakras and and keeping them healthy. Well, your chakras, where they come into the body and what their purpose is for is to pull in energy. And the energy that they pull in is a finer, it's a finer source of, of energy. But each chakra where it goes into the body will draw in energy and it will put that energy right there into the body. And so the, where it goes in, it will be right by a nerve plexus. So there'll be a lot of nerves there. And that energy will go into those nerves and then go out to the corresponding organs in each area of the body. So keeping your chakras healthy and functioning right will help your physical body to feel better. It will also help your, your emotional body to feel better. You'll have clearer thinking. And along with the chakras, each human being has layers, they're called auric layers, that come out from the body. And each chakra has a corresponding layer. And those layers need to be kept healthy too, so that we can function well here on Earth and, and be able to live the plan we made. So with the chakras, um, we'll start with the root chakra. That's the very bottom chakra. That chakra draws up energy from the earth. And human bodies need energy and they need electricity to be able to function properly and, and at our peak. And so your root chakra, when I show you, you'll be able to pull up energy from the earth to help stabilize you and strengthen you and help your physical body. And the color that goes along with this chakra is a beautiful clear red. Now, the areas affected by this chakra would be your physical body as it pulls up energy to help you feel healthier and feel stronger. And this is also um, a part of the body where we have a real connection to the earth. And so it's a place where when we're meditating, we can also um, thank her, thank her for letting us live here in and be part of her journey with her and she with us. And so that's your root chakra. That has a lot to do with your physical body. All right, now your next chakra up, which is your second chakra, is called your sacral chakra. And that is kind of like um, between the pubic bone and the belly button, right in the middle there. Now the color that goes along with this chakra is a clear, bright orange. And this chakra is a very interesting one. Um, obviously, this one has to do with energy that we take in for our sensuality and sexuality. But this chakra also has to do with how you feel about your life, how you feel about what you're doing in life, how you feel about yourself. And so this one um, is a, it's a very interesting chakra, and it can have blocks for many reasons. And so that is the sacral chakra. Okay, the next chakra up is, is called your solar plexus chakra. And it's kind of your rib cage and your belly button. It's kind of right in there. And that holds all the intelligence, all the knowledge we have ever gained. And that also is where we get that um, saying, oh, I just had a gut feeling. Um, people also can hold a lot of anger with this chakra and in this area. And so this one has a lot to do with feelings, feelings about 
ourself, um, about what we have learned along the way, the intelligence we have, we have gathered, the knowledge, and um, it can also be a good place to release any anger. And this chakra is a beautiful clear yellow color. Okay, as we move up, then we have our heart chakra. And there's a, a couple little chakras here by it, but the main one we'll be talking about is the heart chakra. And usually that color is a very beautiful green, but it can have pink with it. So um, depending on, on the person, um, you'll either see green or pink or both with this area. Now your heart chakra is interesting because of course it has to do with the love we feel for others in life. But it also has to do with your peace. It has to do with what you are struggling with in life, what you are shutting down to. And, and a wonderful thing to learn to do with this chakra is to learn to live with it open to our joy and our pain. Because we all know humans learn more from pain than anything else on this planet. And so one of the things that is wonderful to do is to learn how to live every day with this open and not shutting closed to situations, to people, to whatever it is that we don't like. Every time we see something we don't like or around something we don't like and we go, ugh, I don't like that, you're shutting down. And so this chakra has a lot to do with um, your happiness in life. Because if you can learn to keep this open to your joy and your pain, you are going to have a much more peaceful life. Okay, so that is your heart chakra. The next chakra would be your throat chakra. And it's, it's a very clear, beautiful blue, almost a sky blue color that is associated with this chakra. And this chakra, a lot of people need to strengthen because this has to do with speaking our truth. It has to do with hearing our truth, speaking our truth, understanding truth um, beneath actions and words of others. And so this gets messed with a lot because a lot of us do not feel safe enough to actually speak our truth about who we are and what we think and you know, what, how we feel about something because there's just so much fear here and that gets really, it's, it just like gets stuck there. This also has to do, and all the chakras have to do with any organs in the area where they are. And so if you've had um, thyroid problems, um, anything like that, sore throat, earaches, um, to clear this out and to keep this healthy is a very good idea. Okay, so the, the next chakra up is right here. This is called your third eye chakra. And this helps us see what, what we want to pull in for our future. And the reason I say it like that is because we've already created the life that we wanted to live here. And we didn't do that by ourselves. We had a lot of help doing that because when you get home, when you're on the other side, you just, you, it's hard to remember how painful things can be over here because we, we have pain here. We have so much suffering um, mentally and, and, you know, emotionally and physically. And all that gets left behind when we go to the other side. All you feel is love. You're just so happy to be around all of your loved ones there, all of your friends. Um, and so it's really easy for us to plan more than we can handle because we're just thinking we're all bad and we can do it. We can handle that. And I've often asked myself some, you know, did I, did I not kind of push the limit a little bit sometimes with that? So we have, you know, our higher power, whoever you want to think that of, your you're God, you have guides, you have people who help you plan this beautiful life here because there are things that we want to learn. And in order to learn those things, we have to be able to experience pain and heartache. Now, 
the lights we have created are these beautifully interwoven, if you could imagine it, a gorgeous tapestry. And we can go many different ways on these tapestries. It's all there for us and we have full freedom to create this. Um, so when we come here, there are many different ways that we can go. And so with this, when I talk about using our third eye, I'm talking about seeing and bringing down into the physical realm what you want of your plan. What do you see of your plan? What would you like to see in the future? And it helps if you can understand it already exists. All you have to do and I have to do is allow it to come into being. Allow it come down to come down to this physical realm. And so we want to use this third eye to see whatever you, whatever it is you would like to to have materialize if you want to look at it like that. You know, it's it's very good to see yourself very happy and healthy and lighthearted and because that will help bring a lot of things forward. You're not going to be happy if some things that you wanted to happen didn't happen. So that's kind of a coverall. But to get real specific is a good idea. And so if you want to see yourself having a great connection to your children or your grandchildren, you know, see yourself having this amazing sensual and sexual and friendship relationship with your spouse that you work really well together. All these different things are already there. So we want to see them with this third eye so that we can bring them into existence. And that color with that chakra is a very, very deep um, blue, but it also has some purple in it too. I kind of like to think of it almost as a Welch's grape juice kind of a, a color. Okay, so that is the third eye. Then on the top of our head, we have what we call our crown chakra. And that chakra is a little bit different for everyone. It ranges from white to purple. Um, I think it's very individual. And that has to do with communicating to the other side, um, communicating to our God, communicating to our guides, whoever you want to talk to. It could be your grandma on the other side or, or whoever. Um, and that, that's what that area has to do with. And then we actually have about six to two feet, depending on the person, another chakra there that, they, that a lot of people um, call the, the seat of the soul. And this will be closer to the body or farther away from the body, depending on how stressful your body is at the moment, how stressful your life is. Um, if your life is going in a way that you are living such that you're keeping your heart open to your joys and your pains and you're helping other people, this is where our, uh, our being, our spirit, connects with the body. And so that is why they call it the seat of the soul or it has a lot to do with the compassion that you bring forward and your connection to who you really are. Um, we cannot completely inhabit this body with our spirit because our spirits are so amazingly powerful that it would, the, the human body could not hold that. So you don't have your complete spirit in here. You have some of it, but you also have a connection here to who you really are. And so that is what those are used for. And that color for that um, seat of the soul is a very clear, bright white. So I thought what we would do first, if you would like, is I would like to guide you through a meditation where you can actually clear some of the yuck that gets stuck with these chakras as we go about our life here. And one of the things that I, um, I teach to my clients is the fact that movement of the body 
can create different chemicals in the brain. And if you've ever known a child who is autistic, you will see this child, many of them will rock in bed or rock against and they'll go in a corner or they'll take a blanket and they'll wrap up really tight and they'll rock. Well, the reason they do this is because it creates a calming shift in the brain. It's a chemical shift. And so a lot of times before I do work with someone and, you know, my eyes are closed, their eyes are closed. I just ask them if they could imagine um, like a, a hula hoop. Remember playing with the hula hoop when you were a kid and you would have to go back and forth. And some people like to, to go side to side. And you just, you find that um, pace that feels comfortable for you. For some people it's quicker, for other people it's slower. But I want you to see a, like a pink and green hula hoop, only it's made of a cloud. And I just want you to see it going around towards your right shoulder as you go forward and back, just as a hula hoop would go around you. So I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to allow you to do the same. And just for, just for a little bit, just go back and forth. Take some deep breaths all the way into the belly. Relax your jaw muscles, relax your neck and your shoulders. Okay, so you can pause this video if you need to do that a little bit more to get in a comfortable, peaceful place. But I'm gonna go ahead and start um, the, the clearing meditation. And what you do with that is you close your eyes and I just want you to imagine that you're standing under a beautiful waterfall. And this, is, this waterfall is just a couple feet above your head and it's the most gentle, the most beautiful, clear water you can imagine. And it's just that perfect temperature so you're not cold at all while this water runs over your body. And I want you to start just to imagine this water coming down, going on the top of your head. And as it hits the crown of your head, I want you to see that beautiful light purple color. And with the yucky stuff that gets stored there, a lot of times it, it comes, it almost seems like the, that beautiful color is tinged with a little brown. And what this is, is the energy of all those prayers you feel like have been unanswered and, or all the prayers you feel like have not been heard. And so as that beautiful water cascades over your head, I want you to see it pick up that purple and brown color, pull it down your body, over your shoulders, down your trunk, it goes down the legs, and I want you to see it just go into this little river and just flow. And you can see that that yucky, dirty purple color just go off of your body and flow down the river. And then I want you to take a deep belly breath. Okay, the next chakra we're going to clear is your third eye. And this one is that deep purple blue color. And again, it will have, if it is clogged with any any bad thoughts of the future that you've been having, any fear, there's a lot of fear here. That water is going to come down beautiful and clear over that crown chakra and now it's going to be clear as it leaves there and it's going to pick up that dark blue and brown from your third eye chakra. It's going to carry it right down the body, down the trunk, down your legs, and down the river. So just see all that energy that you don't need to learn from anymore. Just flow away from you. Deep breath. All right. 
The next chakra we're going to clear is our throat chakra. And this is that beautiful sky blue. The water is going to come down your head, over the head, over the face, go down into the neck area. And as it gets to your throat chakra, front and back, it's going to pick up that beautiful clear blue tinged with the brown. And this has to do with all those words that you wanted to speak to someone and maybe you couldn't get it out or you did get it out and they wouldn't listen to you. It's like you weren't heard. This also has to do with things that you have heard that you wish you had not heard. All this water will flow over and take that blue and brown color down your trunk and back, down your legs and watch it just flow down that little river and flow away from you. Deep breath. Okay, now we're going to clear the heart chakra. And this chakra, as that water is clear now, all the way down the head and throat, beautiful clear water comes over your shoulders, goes down where your heart chakra is and it picks up that pink and green color which is of course now tinged with a lot of brown and this has to do with the heartaches that we've had it has to do with things that we have heard people say to each other that are just so cruel it has to do with loves in our life that, that are not here anymore that we have found we didn't match with people who have had to leave us and go back home, all the heartache, all of that. Just let that clear water pick it all up, take it down the body, down your legs, and watch it float down that river. All that pink and green tinged with brown, just let it go. Okay, take another deep breath. Now that waterfall is going to be very clean and clear until it gets to your solar plexus chakra. And that color is going to be yellow. And it will be tinged with brown. And this has to do with all of the things that you thought you learned and thought were true, but, but it wasn't. A lot of false knowledge that we thought we understood something and then we found out later it wasn't true at all. So allow all that knowledge, all that intelligence that you thought was serving you but is not serving you anymore. Just allow that clear water to pick it up. Take it down your thighs, down the rest of the legs and let it float out into that river. You don't need this anymore. You can let go of it. And deep breath. All right. The next chakra will be your sacral chakra. And this can have a lot of pain and a lot of damage done to it. Um, partially because of the society we live in. Um, depending the problems and challenges will be different sometimes for men and women but I want you to feel that water nice and clear flow over the body clear 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 till it gets to that sacral chakra and it's going to pick up that orange with brown that tinged orange color washed it down the body and out that beautiful little river there now this chakra has many, um, many challenges as the society we live in right now for women can be very confusing um, and this can cause damage there. Women um, have this wonderful sensuality and sexuality and yet with what man has done with and women, I don't mean just men in general, with um, 
movies and different things they have made, they've taken the sensual and the sexual and corrupted it. And it takes away from the beautiful spiritual experience two people can have together. And women suffer a lot of shame for wanting to be that sensuous and sensual um, and sexual goddess. They, they know that it's accepted um, all their motherly feelings and womanly feelings, but to be a mother and to also be sensual can be looked at very differently from people. And so there can be a lot of pain there from that. Also, there can be pain there from, um, let's say you have become involved or you know, your husband or your wife has um, decided they do not want sexual relations anymore and this causes a lot of pain in this area. There can be pain in this area for women with just pelvic problems. Um, and for men in this area, men have been handed a lot of shame for their natural feelings. And so there can be a lot of shame in this area for them. And so whatever it is for you, if it's a physical or emo an emotional problem, um, just let that clear water come down and see that orange and brown just flow down the river. Just let all that pain go. You don't need to hold on to it anymore. And let's take a deep breath. And the last clearing we want to do is with that root chakra. And now you've got this beautiful, clear, warm water coming down all the way, all through the body. And it will get to the root chakra. And this has to do with any physical pains you have felt, anything that feels a challenge for you and your physical body. And so all those pains, everything you've been through, just let that water pick up the red and brown and let it just flow right off of your body and you can see it flow right down the river. And then take another deep breath. you can slowly open your eyes. Now sometimes we feel a little lightheaded after we um, do a meditation of that sort. Sometimes we feel more energetic. Sometimes we feel a bit peaceful and sometimes you just feel a little different especially if you've never done that before. And so that is the meditation for clearing your chakras. And I'm going to leave that with that for this video and I will make another video right after this and we will do a strengthening um, chakra exercise or meditation whatever you want to look at it as. And so I will say goodbye for now. I hope that this will help you. I hope it will help you feel better in many different ways. And I will See you on the next video. Bye.